Scout, we're due, man. We haven't anything in like three days. I'm gonna lose all my gains. Don't you still have some protein bars in your backpack? Not anymore, man. I ate all of them in my last video. Don't you remember? It was at this moment that I believe that all the heavens aligned at the same time. A Dunkin' Donut right in front of my eyes, but it goes completely against my macros. I can't do this. I can do this. I can't. What if I told you that there is a smart way to go about having a cheat day? Well, I'm here to tell you that there is. In today's video, we're gonna go over a beginner's guide on how to successfully have a cheat day so that on a day that you're ready to cut loose for a little bit, you know a couple Hello. tips that you could have in your armory so that you know how to attack your cheat day right, enjoy it, and jump right back on the gain train after that. Tip number one is for those of you who aren't looking to go crazy for the whole entire day, but rather for just one meal or one cheat meal. So my tip for you guys, make sure that if you are tracking your calories and macros, make sure that you take a look at the menu or wherever you are going and track that meal first thing in the morning. That way, if you <laughs> track that meal first thing in the morning, mountains. you're going to know how to arrange the rest of your meals into the day. So let's say you are cheating uh, or going out for a dinner where you're going to cut loose, have a good burger, some fries, and you're tracking, trying to stay on point. Well, you can still stay on point if you track that meal first thing in the morning and then the rest of the day, you continue to track the rest of your calories to align with your goal. All right, next up, tip number two, intuitive eating. Those of you who might not know what intuitive eating means, it means you're not necessarily tracking your calories and your macros, but you're trying to use your best judgment of what is on your plate or the anatomy of the plate. So yes, you might be able to go out and have these crazy foods that you really been desiring for a while, some pizza, some burgers, some fries and all, but you're really going to do yourself justice if you're able to try and stay on track. And there's two ways of really looking at this. Uh, number one, if you are in a bulk, you're gonna have more room for those calories to splurge out on, of course, because you're gonna be consuming more calories in a day to meet your goal. So with that being said, you have a little bit more room for play with your cheat day if you're in a caloric surplus. However, if you're in a caloric deficit, it's really important that you try not to deviate too, too far off from your caloric deficit. Yes, you can go a little bit over on calories, but try not to undo all of the hard work that you've done in all the days leading up to that point. For example, one of the biggest reasons why people continue to always spin the circle of staying in the same place is that they'll be on point for five to six days out of the week, but then one or two of the days of the week they go all out and they completely neglect their diet. And especially if you're in a caloric deficit, that can do a lot of harm against you. Uh, for example, with this, think about if you're in a 300 to 500 caloric deficit Monday through Friday, but then on Saturday and Sunday, you eat in a caloric surplus over your maintenance of over a thousand calories. In those one or two days of you splurging out, you are completely undoing all of the progress that you made while taking the steps during the weekdays to lose that body fat. So you wanna make sure that, especially if you're in a caloric deficit and you're trying to cut body fat, try not to have too, too many cheat days. And I'm not saying you can't have 80-20 in your diet. You definitely wanna have that balance so that you can help lose the cravings or have the foods that you enjoy. But a lot of times, you can make the foods that you enjoy work with your diet by simply shifting around some of the ingredients. Quick example, instead of using 80-20 with your lean ground beef for a burger and then a white bun, you can easily have a pretzel bun or a whole wheat bun and then have more of a 93-7 lean ground beef and that's still going to meet your caloric needs perfect. So tip number two, intuitively, even if you're still on a cheat day, it's gonna help you so, so much. Tip number three, keep on moving. Do exactly what we're doing right here. Make sure you get outside do some snowboarding, get outside, do some walking with your friends or family that you're having that cheat day with. By you incorporating extra movement in that day, you are going to be burning extra calories. And if you go for a nice long walk and you're over on your calories by say a thousand, that long walk might even burn anywhere from 200, even up to 500, depending on how far you guys go. It will do you a big favor because that's one of the tools that we have in our tool shed when it comes to controlling our results, and that is going to help burn a couple of the excess calories that you've consumed during that day. 
Tip number four is to treat your cheat day as a refeed day. And a refeed day is actually something that we do and it's backed by science. It's your ability to intake carbohydrates in a high amount. And what that's gonna do is when you're in a caloric deficit for a long period of time, your body is not storing a lot of glycogen, which is the storage form in and around our muscles of carbohydrates. And your body is not going to have a lot of glycogen stores, which will hinder you from moving heavier weights. So make sure that if you pay attention to your macros and you really push on your cheat day, higher carbs, higher protein, and you do try and watch the fat just a little bit, you can almost do yourself justice by giving your body some excess fuel that it's been needing to help revamp your metabolism so that in your next gym session, even when you're in a caloric deficit, you are going to be really able to move some heavier weights and restore that metabolism and keep your body in a fat burning state. Right in tip number five, my last tip of the video, Bumble's Bounce. And what I mean by Bumble's Bounce is if you have a cheat day, make sure you bounce right back. Make sure that it's not something that you have your one scheduled cheat day and then you wake up the next morning and you go, eh, what's, what's one more day? What, what's that gonna do? It's gonna do a lot. Make sure that if you have a cheat day, you bounce right back. You wake up, you use those excess calories to go into the gym, smash some heavy weights, and get right back to the grind of meeting your goal. So, with all that being said, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you check out this one right here. And then also, if you guys are new here, welcome to the fam, guys. Click right here to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next video.